Hello and good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, hi teacher. Hi, welcome to your English class. Let's start with our English practice. The main question is, what did you do last weekend? Or what did you do on your last vacation? Um, we also need to make questions, short questions with did. Okay, so who wants to start? Who wants to start? Who wants to start? What did you do last weekend? Or what did you do on your last vacation? Well, my last vacation, maybe no. And weekend also no. But and days before, and when I have free time, I went to the beach with my family, and I stay for two days. How do you say lunch? Ah, you stayed for two days. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jancy. Pero cómo se dice rancho? Ranch. In a ranch? Oh, yeah. Okay. I stay in the ranch. For two days. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jancy. Guys, can you make questions using did to Jancy? Please. For example, did you eat fish? Did you eat fish, Jancy? Okay, Jancy just froze. Okay. So Jancy was saying that she went to the beach and she stayed and she stayed at a at a beach ranch. So we're supposed to make questions with using deed. Okay, but Jancy just disconnected. Let's move with somebody else. Um, what about Marbelli? Can you talk to us about your last vacation or your last weekend? Guys, remember, you have to ask questions using did. Did you? Yeah. Can you, Marbelli? Hello, teacher. Um, I, I last, I last week, um I went to I went to watch the movie in the cinema with my children. Um I visited my family Tuesday in the afternoon. I am I charter with my family, my daughter, birthday in the weekend. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Sounds like a nice weekend. Okay. Okay, my Marbelli. Attention, Marbelli. Guys, make questions to Marbelli using did. Go ahead. Okay. Um, did you close the door? Um, puede ser yes, I, yes, I do. Sí, pero ahorita lo que quiero es que sus compañeros le hagan 
preguntas a usted usando did uh, acerca de lo que usted nos mencionaba. You went to the yeah. you went to the cinema with your family, yeah, and you also visited your your mother, correct? Yes. So I need your classmates to make questions. For example, did you drive a car? Did you drive a car, Marbelli? Yes, I drive my car. Yes, I did. Repeat. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I drove my car. Yes, I did. I drove my car. Yes, yes, correct. That's the idea. That's the idea. Okay. A ver, alguien más que me le haga una pregunta con did. Did you eat very well? Repeat. Did you eat very well? Yes, I did. Uh huh. Yes, I did. I. I eat. I ate deliciously I or very well. I ate spaghetti. Very well, very well. Good, good. Thank you. Let's move. Let's go with, um, let me see, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Did you wash your car in the last vacation? Did you wash your car in your last vacation, Marbelli? What? Excuse me, no escuché muy bien. Can you repeat, Carlos? Yes. Did you last... No, <laughs> Did you wash your car in the last vacation? Yes, I did. I drove my car. No, he said, he said, wash. Wash. Es que casi no, se escucha como entrecortado. I know, no problem, Marbelli. Hagamos un switch. Vámonos con Sandra. Sandra, Campos, what did you do on your last vacation? Or what did you do on your last weekend? Okay, in my last vacation, my family and I went to Atami on the Puerto La Libertad. We had very funny moments and we ate very well. We were at the beach and we played a lot. Then we swam and did competitions. We returned home very tired, but happy to have enjoyed ourselves. Nice, nice. Sounds like fun. <laughs> uh -huh, Marina, make a question with did. Did you do your homework? I don't hear you. Repeat, Marina. <laughs> Again, Marina, activate your microphone. Did you do homework? No, I don't. I didn't homework. I didn't do. I, I didn't do homework. Okay, very well. Did you did you try the uh, seafood? Um. A seafood. Um, seafood like like shells, octopus, <laughs> lobsters. Uh, yes, beef. I I like. Um, you like it? And, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Good job. Okay, Carlos, tell us about your last vacation or your last weekend, guys. Make questions. You seen it? Go ahead. Charlie, go ahead, Charlie. Uh, yo hago. You, tell us about your last vacation or your last weekend. What did you do? I, I went uh, to the beach. I went to the cinema. I visit my 
young mother, uh, in the last vacation, I visit my uncle. Your uncle? Yes, yes, uncle. Okay, so um, you visit or you visited? Visited. Okay, you visited. visited your grandmother. Okay, guys, questions using did for Carlos. Go ahead. Did you watch a horror movie? Yes. Yes. I love movie. The suspense, como se dice in English? Suspense, you can say terror. Um, but remember, remember to follow the sequence because she said, Did you watch? Did you watch yes, a I horror did. movie? Uh huh. You said, Yes, I did. I watched the simple past. I watched a horror film, a suspense movie. Yeah, etc. Yes. Okay, I have another question. Go ahead. Did you feel afraid, Carlos? Did you feel afraid? Did you feel afraid? Like like fear, like oh, in the movie? Yeah. yeah. I don't say this. You don't remember. Okay. Marina, tell us about your last vacation. What did you do on your last weekend? What do you prefer? On my last weekend. What did you do? I went, I went at the church and went shopping. Wow, you went to church and you went shopping. That's a very interesting combination. <laughs> Questions for Marina Jusin did. Go ahead. What did, what did you shopping? What did you shop? Uh, what did you shop? <laughs> I bought clothes for my baby. Excellent, excellent. Uh huh. Questions you seen did. Good job, Sandra. Come on, guys. Questions you seen did. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said yeah. that I need you to make questions using indeed to Marina. For example, Marina, did you did you take the bus? Uh, no, I drove. No, you got frozen just like Jazzy. Hello? Ah, okay, there you go. Marina, did you take the bus? No, oh, I can't, you got frozen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna change. We're gonna change classmates. Let me see. King Mas está ahí. Elizabeth? Patricia? Hi. Good, oh, good. Elizabeth Del Carmen, tell us about your last vacation or your last weekend. I prefer talk about last vacation. Please. Um, I went to the Pital last vacation. I I visited the Rio Son Pool. It's beautiful. And I am um, the Sumpul River. Ah, yes, the Sumpul River. Nice. Uh, the road to uh, Ital uh -huh. is, very is very dangerous. No kidding. Too many curves, yes. huh? Too yes. many dangerous curves. Yes, yes. Oh my yes. And I stay in. La Casona del Abuelo, uh -huh. and there, and there is, uh, there is 
karaoke uh, on <laughs> um, in the night uh, we talk the dinner after that we song no we see, you sang uh, see we I sang you sang songs <laughs> Oh, nice. I sang a song and after that we danced um, in the in the casona in the restaurant. That uh, really sounds like fun, Miss. Oh, yes. really, really, really. I'm not kidding. That that really sounds like fun. Yes, and um, so that uh, we visited the in I, como se dice uh, entre pinos park oh uh, nice. there, uh, there is there are, there is there are many miradores landscapes mm -hmm. landscapes sí. yeah the view the view viewers uh huh uh, the view it's nice nice yeah. I yes. all right miss enough enough miss enough <laughs> questions you see indeed questions you see indeed go ahead you see indeed no pero a usted le van a hacer ahorita miss elizabeth <laughs> attention miss elizabeth lista ahí <laughs> guys questions you see indeed did you uh -huh, go ahead Hello, practice questions you see indeed to Elizabeth. Everyone, everybody is sleeping right now. They are <laughs> nervous. Hi. <laughs> I have a question. Go ahead, Sandra, please. Did you do exercise a lot? Oh, yes, I I did exercise. Okay, nice. Nice job. Thank you for the question. Only Sandra, Marina, Jansi, and Carlos are practicing, and the other students, I need everybody to participate. Yes? Emma, make a question. Ruth, Wendy, Sandra, Sara, Natalie, Tanya. Make a question to Elizabeth using did. Did you drive to Entrepinos? No, I didn't drive Entrepinos. I walk. I walked. You walked. I walked Entrepinos. Oh my I, goodness. Um, for example, I climbed on mountain. You climbed mountains? Ooh, yeah. ooh. Nice. Did you buy anything special? Did you buy anything? Yes, I, bu I bought a, a peach. There, there is a mermelada. No. Jelly, peach jelly. Yes, it's yes. artisanal. Yes. It's, huh? it's artisanal. It's delicious. Oh my goodness! Stop it! Stop it! I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, people. Nice job. Thank you for the ones who practice questions. You see, indeed. Thank you for the ones who talk about your last vacation or your last weekend. What are we using? We're using simple past. We're using simple past. Let me see how we're doing with verbs. Vamos a ver cómo andamos con los verbos, okay? Teacher Kalev will mention one verb in a simple present, and the students will say the verb in simple past. Ready? Right. Okay, the verb is understand. What is the simple past? 
understood. Understood very well. Understood. Okay. The next verb is tell. T E L L. Told. Told. T O L D. Told. Very well. The next verb is swear. What? Swear. What? What? Repeat. <laughs> oh, I mean, spell it. Swear, it means como jurar algo, right? It's S W E A R. Swear. I think it's swore. Swore. S W O R E. Correct. Nice job. Swore. Okay. Yeah. Next verb. The next verb is. Steal. 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 Robar. Robar. Like steal your heart. <laughs> uh -huh. What is the simple pass of steal? So. S T O. L-D. Stole. Correct. Still. Stole. Stole. <clears throat> okay. Next one. Let me see. It's going to be sleep. Slept. It's slept. Slept. Okay. Thank you. Next is seat. Sat. 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 S-A-T. Very well. Next is sing. Sang. 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 Very well. Next one is shake. 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 S-H-A-K-E. Shake. Shot. Mm, it means like sacudir, agitar, temblar. Shot. Shook. 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 S H O O K. Shook. Next. Cell. S E L L. Sold. 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 Very well. S O L D. Next one. C. So, so, so. So. Repeat. So. 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 Okay. Next one. Read. 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 Very Red. well. Very well. Next one. Put. Put. Talk. Put. Put. Okay. Ah, that's very easy. Put, huh? Mm -hmm. Put. <laughs> I was just trying you, just testing you. Um, make. 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 Made. 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 Very well. Very well. Uh, mistake. Mistake. Mistook. Mistook. Very Mistook. well. Mistook. All right. No. New. 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 Very well. You guys are very intelligent. All right. Next one. Hold. 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 H O L D. Hold. Held. Held. Very well. H E L D. That's nice. Next one, get, G-E-T, get. Got. Got. G-O-T, got. Next one, forgive. For, for, forget. I'm sorry? Forget. Forgave. Excellent. Okay. Forgave. Okay. Fine. Fine. Found. 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 Very well. Found. Drink. 
Drunk. 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 Okay. Do. Did. 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 Okay. Cut. 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 It's very easy. It's cut, cut, cut. Come on. Okay. Next one. Uh, break. Broke. 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 Very nice. Let me see. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Good job. Hey, estamos muy bien. Aunque quizás no todos me participaron en, en esta dinámica. Right? So it's important for you to manage the verbs. Todos los verbos que hemos dicho son verbos básicos. Debemos manejarlos en pasado. We have to. We have to. Si usted tuvo problemas con esto, le recomiendo que vaya a aprenderse los verbos. Please. Así como se aprendía usted la regla, ¿verdad? De, de la gramática, de las matemáticas. I don't know. That's how you have to do it. Let me share now my screen. Please let me know if you can visualize. I think. Okay, there it is. Can you see it? Yes. Right now. Awesome. Okay, so yesterday we kind of studied the structure or the ways how you're supposed to answer main questions with did, right? And today we're going to practice information question. Not only just yes, no question with did, but also information question. What did you do on Saturday? How did Meg spend her weekend? Let's check. Last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a little dynamic using did. Teacher Kalev is going to give you the answer. Students make the question. For example, did you go to the beach? Okay, that's a good one. Let me see. Okay, I'm sending you a chat. I'm sending you a chat. On the chat, you will see an answer. Can you make the question? Can you make the question? ¿Ya vieron el chat? 
Puede ser, muy bien, Jansi. Puede ser. También puede ser, uh, did she buy anything? Not specifically clothes, but did she buy anything? Okay, good job, good job. Entonces, Sandra, I mean, uh, Jansi, ahí estamos, ok, punto para ti. Ah, no, ese era el ejemplo, ese era el ejemplo. Aquí viene ya, the real one. Hay que identificar si es yes, no question, o si es information question, ok. Okay, that's the answer. That's the answer on the chat. Oops, had a great time. Had a great time there. I missed the letter. And had a great time. What is the question? She went to the beach and had a great time there. What is the question? Jancy says, what did you do the last weekend? She's not sure. Está, está bien, Jancy, guys, le ayudamos ahí. No podría ser you? Porque la respuesta decía. Yeah, yeah. What, what did she, she do the last weekend? Very well. Excellent. Next one. That's the answer. That's the answer. What is the question? Did you did you stay home? Mm, very good. Sería así como Jansimis. Did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere? Excellent. No, I didn't. No money. No honey. I just stay home, right? <laughs> I just stayed home very well. Use your logics. Use your logics, okay? One more time. One more time. Where? Anywhere. 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 Es como algún lugar, ¿verdad? Algún lugar. Did you go anywhere? Si saliste a algún lado. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. What is the question? No tiene yes, no tiene no, entonces no es un yes, no question, it's an information question. What, what did you get up? Close, close, Sandra, close. Pero hay algo en esa respuesta que nos está diciendo todo. What time? Uh. Do you, are you sure this is simple past? Casi, casi, casi. ¿Qué nos hace falta? Yes. What time did you? Y tenemos que corregir algo más. A ver, chicos. Poner el verbo en presente. Correcto. Entonces, 
What time did you wake up? Correct. What time did you wake up? Wake up. Muy buen trabajo. Muy buen trabajo. Good job. Very nice job, guys. Very nice job. All right. Let me share my screen one more time. Thank you for your participation, ladies, gentlemen. Thank you for your participation. Your participation is up to date. Teachers love when students participate just like you. Okay. We're going to move on. We're going to go to the next topic. Well, this is your homework, right? You have to complete this one. And now this is pronunciation exercises that you gotta complete. And let's go over this conversation now. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with parts of B if used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. <laughs> this is the simple pass of the bird to be was and where. Okay, let's repeat. How was your vacation? How was your vacation? How was your vacation? How was your vacation? Remember, vacation, vacation, no, okay? The vacation. How was your vacation? How was your vacation? Repeat, it was excellent. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. With, with, with my with cousin. My cousin. We, we, had, we had a great time. We had, we had a great time. time. We had, we had a great time. We had, we had, a, had a great time. time. Repeat, <laughs> lucky you. Lucky you. Lucky you. How long? How long were you there? How long were you there? About a week. About a week. About a week. Fantastic. Fantastic. Was was the weather okay? Was the weather, was the weather okay? okay? Weather. Repeat. Weather. 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 Was was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? Not really. Not really. It was it was cloudy most of the time. It was, it cloudy, was cloudy most of the time. But but we went surfing every day. But we went surfing every day. The waves. Waves. The waves, the waves were the waves amazing. amazing. The waves, the waves were amazing. The waves were amazing. Were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? So, what was the best thing about the trip? So. What was the what was the best thing about the trip? What was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Well, so, something incredible happened. 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 
Happen. You won't believe it. You won't, you won't believe it. Okay, guys, do you have any question about this conversation? Any doubt? Any comment? Mm -hmm. What is the incredible thing that happened? I don't know what is the incredible thing that happened. You need to you need to listen to the second part tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow we don't have class, but on Monday. On Monday we will find out what was what is the incredible thing that happened. <laughs> All right, let's practice. Teacher Kalev is going to be uh, Don. I'm going to interpret his role, and the students will interpret Celia's role. Are you ready, students? Yes. Practice yes. your English on three, two, one. Let's go. Hi, How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long, How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, so, so what was the best thing the about, best the thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Do you want to believe it? Wow, nice, 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 nice. Okay, um, here we have sentences with the simple pass of the verb to be. For example, it was excellent. Yeah? In here, I'm combining the simple pass, yeah, with an action verb. Went. I went to Hawaii. We had a great time. Yeah, it was cloudy. Yes, it was cloudy. The waves were amazing. So we're pretty much using the past of the bird to be. Okay. okay? No. Simple past of the bird to be. And here it is. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Okay, so you remember that the contraction of was not is wasn't. And the contraction of were not is weren't. Okay. Um, direct question, uh, using the bird to be, it would be, were you, yeah? Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Was the weather okay? Talking about something else? Yes, it was, or no, it wasn't. Remember, in plural, we use where. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were, or no, we weren't. It's kind of, it's kind of easy, I believe. It's kind of easy, I believe. Um, it's just a matter of answering correctly using was or using was not, using where or using where not. Okay. Any questions so far? So far, so good. Okay. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? 
Yes, they were. No, they were. Okay, let's go back right here. Let's go back right here. And we're going to make questions using was or using where, okay? I will start for you guys. I will start. Let me ask you, were you in the English class yesterday? Were you in this English class yesterday? Yes, yes, it was. yes. Yes, what? I was. Yes, I was. Very well. Yes, I was. Um, was teacher Kalev in this class yesterday? Yes, of course. Yes, he was. He was. He was. Yes, he was. Excellent. Excellent. Was this class in Spanish? Um, not, not a little bit. No, it was. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Very well, very well. Um, let's see. Was was Marina in Mexico yesterday? I don't know. Maybe. No, no, no. she wasn't. She wasn't. No, she wasn't very well. No, she wasn't. Hey, were you and your family in a restaurant yesterday? No, we were. We... No, we, we weren't. We weren't. We were. Affirmative, yes, we were. Excellent, excellent. Okay, it's your turn. It's your turn. Uh, Sandra, make a question. Using was or using where to a classmate. Hmm. Was you was to drink a coffee today? Okay, if you're gonna say you, then it will be where. Okay. Ah, where you where, okay. Were you drink or drunk? Were you drinking? Ah, were you drinking a coffee today? Were you drinking a coffee today, guys? No, I was. No. no. Okay. Yes, I was. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Jansi, make a question using was or where. Yeah, to everyone, where yeah. you sleep yesterday and to the, come on, say, all right, where you sleep this time yesterday at were you time. sleeping uh -huh. sleeping, were you sleeping were you sleeping at this time, at this time yesterday? yesterday guys were you sleeping at this time yesterday no i wasn't no i wasn't <laughs> carlos don't do this face to me answer me talk to me yes i was or no i wasn't no i wasn't okay excellent excellent were you sad last night? Were you sad last night? No, no I wasn't. wasn't. No, I, I was, was happy. I was happy. Excellent. 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 Okay, Carlos, make a question. You see, was or where? Uh, where you was Netflix? Yesterday? Watching. Were you Netflix. watching? Were you watching Netflix yesterday? No, I was. No, I wasn't. Were you watching Netflix yesterday? That's a good one. Okay. So you weren't watching Netflix, okay. 
Were you listening to romantic music last night? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. In English, yes. I In like. English, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, Marina, make a question using was or where. Oh, she's busy. Okay, Patricia, make a question using was or where. Were you dancing last night? Were you dancing last night, guys? Honestly, honestly, tell us, were you dancing last night? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Ah, okay, okay. Only on Fridays, huh? Only on Fridays. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, good question, Patricia. Sandra, Amaya, make a question. Were you walking to work yesterday? Were you walking to work yesterday? I love your intonation, Sandra. Keep it up. Were you walking to work yesterday, guys? Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't. Only two students and the other students. What happened? Only Sandra and Carlos. What about you guys? Were you walking to work yesterday? No, I wasn't because I don't work. Okay, good enough. <laughs> yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Thank you so much. Emma, you have a question. Do you see was or where? Wendy, can you make a question using was or where? Ruth, Abigail, can you make a question using was or where? Okay, guys, it's important for you to honor this opportunity by participating, by having your camera activated. Please do, please do. This opportunity is unique. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Okay, let's continue. She said, yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used B to express feelings, conditions, states, and description. This is very important. We use B to express feelings, like sad, like happy, like romantic, like in love, hungry, angry, thirsty, um, stuff like that, conditions, conditions, states, or descriptions, yes? Descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following. Okay, we have three questions right here. First question, were you my student before? Were you my student before? No, no, I never. We were you, we weren't your students. You were with a different teacher, huh? You were with another yes. teacher, huh? You and were me. with another student teacher. Oops, that's right. That's right. You got me. Yes, yes, I was. Ah, you were my yes. student, Carlos. No, in kidding. the English Principal Module One. <laughs> Incredible, we're together yes. again. That's amazing. <laughs> Marina, were you my student before, Marina? <laughs> were no, you my <laughs> Okay, how about you, Sandra Maya? Were you my student before? No, she was. You look, you look familiar to me. You look familiar. So you say, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't? No, I wasn't. 
Very well, very well. How about you, Sandra Campos? Were you my student before in a different no. class? No, I wasn't. You look familiar to me. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the next question. Carlos, read the next question, please. Were you happy yesterday? Were you happy yesterday, Patricia? Yes, I was. Why? Why? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, how about you? How about you guys? Were you happy last night? Were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. It's like every day. It's a secret? Oh, come on. Tell us. It's going to be a secret in this class. Nobody will know. It's a secret, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay um were you happy were you late huh were you late this morning were you late this morning um no a little bit. yes i was i was <laughs> <laughs> were you late for this class today no no I, were on time. Time. I was on time. I was on time. I wasn't late. Yes? I was early. I was on time. So it's important to use was and where. Where were you were you participating in this class today? I think yes. Yes. I was. Yes. 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 yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was, teacher. Yes. I was practicing. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I love it, guys. Sometimes it can be a little hard if we don't practice. If we don't practice, it gets harder. If you practice, it gets easier. So the practice makes the perfection. You got to practice to get better. Please do your homework. Do your homework in the platform. It's very important you complete your exercises and that you be on time, not behind, but ahead. It's better for you to be ahead of the game. Okay, please do your homework. Tomorrow we have no classes, right? We don't have class tomorrow, right? No. Right? So enjoy your vacation tomorrow and I will see you until Monday again at 8 p.m. It's going to be Monday the 12th, September the 12th. Okay, guys, have a nice weekend. Practice your English. Be safe. Don't get in trouble. And I see you on Monday. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Have a lovely night. Have a good rest. Have a good sleep. Enjoy your weekend, okay? Yeah, you too. Bye. Watch out. Watch out with the coronavirus. See you later, guys. See you later, yeah. alligators. Good night. Good night. Okay, sure. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you later. God bless you. God bless you. God bless us all. Good night, everyone. Goodbye.